Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial series of our channel TM Square and we look forward to give you again an amazing tutorial series on one of the certifications of ISTQB. After a long wait, we are getting started with a brand new series of ISTQB AI tester which a lot of people requested to look forward to understand about the fundamental concepts of AI and ML and at the same time preparing you to get certified with AI tester and not only that those who are interested to step into the world of artificial intelligence as a QA can also look forward to go through this tutorial series. In order to get started of course this certification was initially introduced in 2021 and then got through several reviews betas and then got approved and now it is publicly available in 2022 for everyone to take up the certifications. Now anyone who is interested can look forward to this introduction video and understand about the examination structure, the syllabus, the timeline and what kind of preparation you need to do in order to get certified. As usual, to get started, we would like to give you a quick outline of ISTQB as not sure many people who watch these introduction videos could be first time talking about ISTQB or sometime you might have been through some other certifications also. But keeping it generic that anyone looking at this video can really understand about what ISTQB is all. Now ISTQB is a non-profit organization based out of Belgium who is taking the responsibility and accountability of recognizing QA professionals across the world in order to get them certified and showcase their professionalism across the world. As ISTQB stands for International Software Testing Qualification Board, all the certifications taken under this body is internationally recognized. Any QA professionals taking any certifications under ISTQB is going to be valid worldwide and can look forward to showcase as a part of their portfolio, as a part of their curriculum, uh, that is your resume, and showcase to any organization that you are qualified for what you do. Talking about the certifications under ISTQB, there are a bunch of certifications which currently, as of today, the ISTQB offers to QA professionals. As you can see, there are so many certifications which ISTQB has currently available for any individual to go ahead and take up. Now, most of these certifications have tutorials built on our channel already, so you must not find it challenging to find some good quality content in order to start preparing for your other certifications too. All the boxes represent here that we have some tutorials or the best tutorials I can say in a way that you can go ahead and get started. Of course, as per your recommendations and as per your feedback on different videos, the Google has recognized our channel as the best channel supporting you to prepare for our STQB. Now today, we'll be getting started with a new series where we will be talking about AI testing certifications. So that is one of the specialist certification added on the right hand side where other, other specialist certifications are also being included put together. So talking about the certifications, of course, we do have agile specific certifications. We do have core level certifications where we can talk about more from the role of a test engineer. And on the right hand side, we have domain specific certifications, which are for specialist testers. So any individual can look forward to add more value to their portfolio and get certified as soon as possible. Coming back to the validity of this certification, all the fundamental and foundation level certifications of ISTQB are going to be lifetime valid. That means you don't even have to write this examination, even in case the syllabus changes down the line after a few years. So once certified, you're certified forever and you don't really have to write the examination again and again. This is not a tool based certification team, so you don't really have to write any kind of maintenance or your certification will expire. No, not at all. Your certification is valid forever, as in when you just write it for once for all. Adding further to this, what could be the examination structure and what you really need to know about the certification? Number one, the prerequisite. Of course, as it is a specialist certification, you need to go through the pathway of getting certified with CTFL, which is the most fundamental certification of ISTQB. And no matter what your experience is, no matter what number of years you have been working for, 
any individual has to be CTFL certified in order to take up the AI tester certification. And that becomes the prerequisite for any individual to take up. If you are already CTFL certified, then you are open to any of the certifications after that. But here, AI tester, it is must that you must be foundation level certified. Talking about the exam type, it still remains objective. There are no subjective examinations in AI tester 2. And in fact, many other certifications still do not have subjective based questions. You only have multiple choice questions. That mean one question will have four options and you have to pick any one as the right answer. But just to keep you reminded, as these are specialist questions, some of the questions can have multiple selections as well. Not all of them, but a few, like two or three questions might be given with five questions, five options, and you have to select two of them as the right answer. Now talking about the number of questions which will be asked in the examination is going to be 40. As usual, just like foundation level, you will have 40 questions, but the scoring system is going to be slightly different. Some of the questions will carry additional marks where you are putting little more effort or you are supposed to know more deeper to answer that particular question. And if you're already aware of ISTQB, we are talking about the K3 and K4 level questions. In that case, the scores are going to be slightly higher. So total possible marks here are 47 marks and the duration which will be provided to answer these questions is 60 minutes. That means one hour to write 40 questions, right? Now talking about the schedule, now currently we don't have every day examination happening just like CDFL. Mm -hmm. You may have to schedule it in advance and get a public date available for you to take up this examination. So get started with your preparation and as and when you're done, you can look forward to schedule your examination in advance. Also, the location and venue doesn't really matter here because you can look forward to have some uh, public sessions depending on your country and depending on your type of center like Pearson or you can look forward to any other option or you can even go ahead with online examinations which could be a proctor based examination taking right from your home right so you have both the options possible here you can take it offline or you can take it online as well the passing criteria remains the same throughout all the certifications which is 65 percent of the total marks now that's it the total marks is 47 and the 65 percent of it becomes 31 marks to get past certificate right anything less than 31 is considered as a re-attempt you can go ahead and take any number of re-attempts to succeed with the examination but when you are here i can promise you that you will have all that knowledge what you really need to succeed in one go adding further on this of course there's a big outline and don't don't get scared about it of course we have a lot of topics broken down into simple forms step by step to cover everything what an AI tester needs to know to get started or at least to get certified. Considering there are many chapters, you may think that there are a lot of things to be covered and it's gonna be very long and very detailed. No, not at all. It's just that we are talking about different items in different segments so that it can be separated and can be dis discussed separately, right? So there are 11 chapters talking about different concepts of AI and ML right from chapter one where we are introducing you to what is AI then chapter two will be talking about quality characteristics of the AI based systems which are the non-functional parameters chapter three will be introducing you to the machine learning what is ML then we will be talking about ML data in chapter four we have ML function performance data we do have ML neural network and testings also chapter seven will talk about the testing concepts right from there they will be talking about testing AI based systems as an overview. Then chapter eight will deep dive into the quality characteristics of AI testing, how exactly that happens. Then chapter nine will be talking about the various methods and technologies for the testing of AI based systems. Of course, that is going to be uniquely different compared to any other systems. Also chapter 10 will talk about the various environments which are needed or the configuration for the environment to perform AI based system testing. And finally, chapter 11, we'll talk about how to use AI itself to do AI testing, right? That sounds interesting. And you're going to have a lot of fun learning about all these things. Trust me, it's very interesting in a way that you can explore the fun learning and get involved in something 
very new and specific. Finally, to talk about the various K levels, what you can expect in this particular syllabus. As usual, the K level stands here for knowledge level, which an individual needs to have in order to answer a question in the examination. Not all the topics are of the same weightage, or you need to really pressurize yourself to learn everything very deep. The K1 level stands for remember, which means that there could be topics which are very high level, and you may just have to remember to the point, the definitions or the meaning of the words, that's it, right? You don't really have to deep dive. But when you talk about the K2, the K2 means understand. It is not enough for such topics which are marked with K2 that you just have to read, remember. You may have to understand a little bit more than the definition that what exactly, how it happens, who does it, why it happens and so on. K3, of course, the name says apply and you need to apply this during the examination, not just learn and understand. They may ask you with a small basic scenario at how exactly you apply certain concepts, right? And you need to implement that and come back with the outcome. Finally, the K4 is analyze, which certainly talks about some of the real driven scenarios, and they ask you to go by the passage and come out with the possible outcomes depending on the information provided to you. So we will have all the levels here of knowledge that is K1, K2, K3, K4 and it's not that K4 topics are no longer here or something, right? So put together, AI testing certification has a lot of information for you and get started for a journey which is going to be incredible to learn about AI and ML and at least to get fundamental understanding of being a test engineer in AI and how to get started with your career ahead. So. That's all from this particular video team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.